So guys, we still have the triple play bundle within the black market right now. 2,500 COD points, one range weapon bribe, one melee weapon bribe, and 10 rare supply drops. This expires in three days and 19 hours. And of course, I'm still doing a giveaway. I'm trying to give away a triple play bundle every single day leading up to the end of the triple play. So the first winner of the triple play was actually my man, Ronaldo. I sent him over the PS4 codes. He opened up the triple play. I believe he got the AK-74U, the Marshall 16s, and the uh, Ace of Spades. So huge shout out to Ronaldo for being the first winner. I'm showing proof and everything like that on the screen. So, of course, if you guys want to enter in and be the next winner for the Triple Play Bundle, all you guys have to do is make sure you guys drop a like on this video, subscribe to the channel if you guys are brand new, and also comment Triple Play in the comments down below. And also, guys, make sure you activate your Triple Play contract within the contracts in Black Ops 3. It expires in three days and 19 hours. Uh, you just have to activate it within the three days. You don't have to actually complete the contract within three days. Once you activate it, you have unlimited time to complete this Triple Play contract. So make sure you activate it. Get in my way and try to block me, I'ma show aggression Alrighty boys, so I'm thinking of a random DLC weapon. If one of you guys can guess the exact DLC weapon I'm thinking of in the comments down below, I will shout you out in the next video. Yo, what is going on YouTube? My name is Rich, or right away, hopefully you guys are all doing well. So today, I got a brand new Call of Duty Black Ops 3 video, and in today's video, guys, we are going to be talking about sort of like the future of Black Ops 3, some new updates, some new thoughts and ideas that I have personally for Black Ops 3, and what's to come, and you guys can actually share your thoughts and ideas as well within the comment section down below. So as of right now, for Black Ops 3, guys, there's really nothing new. I mean, we have no operation, we have, you know, no new DLC weapons right now. Uh, the last set of DLC weapons that we got was the Dragoon Sniper as well as the uh, limited time M14 and the M14 is gone now is a limited time DLC weapon and it's not in the game as of right now the only one you can get is the Dragoon the Dragoon's still in supply drops we have no like limited time camo right now the last camo we got was the watermelon camo but that was only available for literally one day and that was the 4th of July so right now there's literally nothing new for Call of Duty Black Ops 3 the only thing we sort of have right now is the triple play bundle and that's you know of course in the black market you guys saw my little intro right there we still have the triple play bundle and within the triple play bundle there's like three days and like 20 hours or something like that so you guys can activate the triple play contract right now you guys can buy the bundle for 2500 cod points that's like the only thing right now that's new in black ops 3 but if you guys actually take a look at the timer of when the triple play bundle ends it actually ends on monday at one o'clock now if you guys are kind of new to black ops 3 and you don't know i guess the history of black ops 3 and how they usually do their updates and dlc contents and whatnot uh, basically monday is when we usually get the updates for the game uh, monday is when we get the update at monday at one o'clock oh god there's so many people oh god is there another one okay we're good to go but yeah monday at one o'clock we usually get you know updates for black ops 3 like the really really big updates not like the hot fixes or like the playlist updates but you know the really really big updates like 1.30 1.31 etc and then tuesday is usually when we get you know the contents of within that update so i guess the new dlc weapons the new camos the new operations stuff like that so it's really really interesting that the triple play bundle right now in call of duty black ops 3 it actually ends on monday at exactly one o'clock now what can this mean uh this can definitely mean a big possibility that we can see an update for Black Ops 3 on Monday. Uh, the 1.31 update would be next in the cycle of, you know, updates for Black Ops 3 and whatnot, and uh, that would be really, really awesome, man. I mean, I don't know if it's just a coincidence that, you know, the bundle ends at Monday at 1 o'clock. I definitely think, you know, we are going to be getting something uh, soon for Black Ops 3, and I think, you know, it would be a perfect time. You know, it ends the triple play bundle, and it's on Monday at 1 o'clock. We can definitely receive a brand new update for Black Ops 3, and then uh, on Tuesday, we could definitely see some new DLC weapons. So this Monday coming up is July 16th. Now, if we do see an update for the game on one at one o'clock, you know, I will definitely be making a video and kind of making an update video and showing you guys that, yes, we did exactly get an update. And that Tuesday is July 17th, the next day. So if we do get an update on Monday, July 16th, guys, I will definitely be making a video. And that's honestly a very, very good chance of seeing some new DLC weapons on Tuesday, July 17th. So if we do get an update on, you know, of course, Monday and we see, you know, new DLC weapons on Tuesday, I'll be making plenty of videos for you guys. So make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel and turn on those post notifications so you guys do not miss any updates for black ops 3 and when the new dlc weapons drop i'm definitely going to be giving away a lot of cod points and hopefully a new operation you know new camo etc etc now there's a lot of possible you know dlc weapons that we can see in the 1.31 update one of those dlc weapons being the scar h i would love to see the scar h i would like to see the m27 the mp7 i think the vector is a really really dope weapon i would love to see the vector i would love to see the mp5 and the mp5 was a very very popular smg within black ops 1 so that could be sort of like a throwback uh, weapon 
I would love to see maybe the PDW from Black Ops 2 because we have the XMC or the MSMC from Black Ops 2 and Black Ops 3 right now. So I would love to see kind of like the PDW sort of like its counterpart, you would say. So uh, there's so many you know possible DLC weapons. Let me know in the comment section your ideas and thoughts about new DLC weapons. What kind of DLC weapons would you guys want to see in the newest update for Black Ops 3, which of course will be 1.31. Hopefully we do see that on Monday and then Tuesday we can maybe see some new DLC weapons. You no, know, we haven't actually seen a brand new pistol in a while. So I would love to see sort of like a brand new pistol. That would be really, really dope. I would love to see maybe a brand new special weapon too. You know, special weapons and pistols, you know, they're they're not really weapons that I would use on the regular, but they're definitely cool and we haven't seen them in a while. Maybe a brand new special weapon would be cool. I know I tank it and I, you know, we've talked about, you know, possible DLC weapons. And since it is summertime, I would sort of love to see like a, I don't know, like a melee weapon, like uh, like a like a pool tube. You know what I mean? Like one of those, you know, rubber tubes that you use in the pool, whatever. That would be really, really funny because it is summertime and it's just something different, man. Like imagine just running around with a, you know, pool noodle as a DLC melee weapon because we haven't seen a melee weapon in a very, very long time. So let me know your thoughts and opinions about running around with a pool noodle as a DLC weapon in celebration of sort of like the summertime, maybe days of summer for Black Ops 3. As far as like, you know, new special weapons, what kind of like special weapon would you guys want to see? Because we have the D13, we have the Ballistic Knife, of course we have the NX Shadow Claw. So what other, you know, special weapons would you guys like to see? Let me know in the comment section. I can't believe that just happened. What, what just happened, man? Did I really just die by a frag? Like he cooked that thing for so long. But overall, guys, hopefully we do see a brand new operation for Black Ops 3 soon because we had, you know, Operation Heat Wave, and that was sort of like, you know, I guess the summer operation, but summer is still going on, and Operation Heat Wave ended already. So I really want to see a brand new operation soon for Black Ops 3. Hopefully it's another, you know, summer operation because, you know, summer is not over, and summer is a huge time for Black Ops 3 and, you know, new updates and, you know, playing the game. So I really hope we do see a summer operation, uh, sort of like Days of Summer, sort of like, you know, Operation Heat Wave that we saw already. Hopefully a new camo too we just got the watermelon camo but i would love to see another limited time camo uh, in black ops 3 sort of going along with a summer operation again i think that'd be very very awesome very very interesting so let me know your thoughts and ideas in the comment section down below man you no know, i just think there's so many you know new things coming for black ops 3 soon so let me know in the comments you know as far as you know what you know dlc weapons camos new operation what are you guys most excited for to see uh because summer is not over and you know we had june contraband which was the dragoon and the m14 but we haven't seen july contraband man and i would love Love to see July contraband. I'm not sure if we'll see, you know, August contraband just because everyone thinks that's when we'll get the Black Ops 4 beta. So I don't think we're going to see, you know, August contraband. I think, you know, we have a high probability of seeing July contraband this month. So once again, guys, if we do have any updates uh, coming this Monday or maybe, you know, sometime later this month, uh, you know, for new DLC weapons, new camos, new operations, I'm definitely going to be making a lot of videos. I'm definitely going to be giving away a lot of COD points. You guys get your hands on those new DLC weapons, but hopefully we do get something new soon, man, because, uh, you know, Black Ops 3 is kind of dry right now. I mean, we kind of, you know, have the triple play. We just got off, you know, new DLC weapons, but, you know, I want to see more, man. And I think, you know, Treyarch is doing a great job still updating Black Ops 3. So let me know your thoughts and opinions about, you know, new updates for Black Ops 3, new DLC weapons, new camos, new updates uh, for the game. Just share your thoughts in the comments. I'm definitely going to be reading a bunch of the comments. Also, guys, I'm still giving away a triple play bundle. So if you guys want to enter, make sure to drop a like, subscribe if you guys are brand new, as well as comment triple play. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys have a great rest of your day. I will see you guys next time. Alrighty boys, so I'm thinking of a random DLC weapon. If one of you guys can guess the exact DLC weapon I'm thinking of in the comments down below, I will shout you out in the next video. Where we open up the range and uh, we see what we get, honestly. Ooh, okay, this was definitely not a bad supply drop. We got a 10 crypto key bonus. So let's continue. Come on, anything good? Anything good? Nothing. Two comments in a rare. That's always the worst freaking thing. Guys, if you completed your triple play contract, uh, let me know in the comment section what you guys uh, got out of your range and your melee. Let me know what you guys got. Uh, I'm always curious to see what kind of DLC weapons you guys are getting. He has 26 duplicates. Damn, let's burn the duplicates. We could probably open up a few more rare supply drops before we open up the range. Before the supply drop, you guys have all been waiting for. Hopefully, we do pull something good out of these rare supply drops. We already got the Iron Gym, but I mean, he already had all the melees, so it wasn't really something new. But you know what? I'm still hyped. I'm still ready. Guys, it is time to open up the range supply drop. I'm going to close my eyes, of course. We're just going to go straight for the range, man. I'm ready. I'm excited. Drop a like. Give me that supply drop luck. Vondi, I hope you're watching, man. Hopefully, we do pull something good. I think all the DLC weapons he was missing, they were all really, really dope weapons. So let's see what, we, let's see what happens, man. Let's see what happens. I'm going to close my eyes. Drop a like. Here we go, guys. Here we go. Ranged weapon bribe. Was that it? 
Nope, that was it right in the middle, I'm pretty sure. Yep, it was definitely in the middle, 100%. What did we get? And we got the 1911. I'm actually so hyped, dude. I'm actually so hyped. We got my favorite DLC weapon. Honestly, I think this might be my favorite DLC weapon out of all of them. It, there's so many good ones. The Peacekeeper, RPK, but I, I just, I love the 1911.